Now, the Association of Licensed Telecoms Operators of Nigeria, Alton, says it may be forced to commence action with its regulators if the government fails to intervene in the shutting down of facilities in Kogi State. Chairman of Alton, Engineer Benga Debayo, dropped this hint by a briefing newsman in Lagos. Justin Akadoye has more. The shutting down of the facilities in Kogi State is coming as a result of disputes arising from unusual taxes and levies demanded by the state internal revenue service. The consequence of this is that 70 sites have been disconnected. While operators fear they will not be able to provide support for the citizenry, they say it may also have a huge toll on the overall economy. So it's not a threat to shutting down network site and place, do not misquote me, but we will be left with no option than to seek government intervention at higher levels to do whatever it is possible to compare government of Kogi State and that of FCBA to do something. And I think this is a matter of important and significant concern to government. Um, it's unfortunate that the government at the sub-national level will flip the switch on the entire nation and we all will fold our arms and say it is their problem and it is not, not our problem. Because the implication is that if your neighbor is doing something wrong, you don't call him to order. If there are consequences on his action, you or she will feel it. Present challenges, including the skyrocketed cost of diesel, take center stage. Although Alton is not hammered on raising the rates, they feel an intervention from government is not too much to ask. Other bottlenecks with the FCT administration and security worry the operators. All planning, all network planning, operational expenses that we have planned, projected for the year, is based on the projection that diesel with price will cost at 200 and something naira per liter. Today it has gone to several multiples, and you know the implication of that. One is that because of the built infrastructure in Abuja, no, no individual operator can, can dig in Abuja to lay fiber. So FCT had their own underground fiber, uh, their own underground ducts, which are member leases to deploy services. Because of the revenue attraction of that infrastructure, when new government in Abuja come, they change the numbers. It is essentially if you actually have terrorist attack, insurance we call it first major. Riot and civil act. Insurance for those kind of things are very expensive. Alton reiterated its commitment to work with government and security agencies at all levels while assuring that services will not be disrupted. Justin Akadone, Plus TV News. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.